What is going on everyone? It's your boy James, aka the Comic Raider, back with a little something different for this channel. Uh, first of all, yes, fresh fade, you know the vibes. Feels weird seeing myself without the crazy hair, even though this is how I've pretty much spent an accumulative 27 years of my life, uh, but still feels weird nonetheless. But anyways, it's now what we're here for. So, Longtime followers of mine, especially on the Comic Book Fiend Club YouTube channel, uh, then you might remember I used to do a ton of in-stock trades, orders, and unboxings. I am an omnibus collector. I've been out the game for quite some time now, just uh, didn't have time to read. Uh, there wasn't really ones that were catching my eye that I just had to have. I've picked up a couple here and there, mainly the Batman ones from now on. And, uh, but I've got a couple that have caught my attention. So I placed an order for two new ones. Just got them in the other day. So I figured, you know what? I, I won't do an unboxing, but I'm going to at least show you what I picked up. So first up is going to be uh, Star Wars Darth Vader. Uh, this is going to be the... Karen Gillen, I think I'm pronouncing that right, run. So you have the Dr. Afra, uh, first appearance of Dr. Afra, along with uh, Vader down. So it's got uh, Darth Vader 2015 series 1 through 25, plus the annual Darth Vader, or Star Wars Vader down, and Star Wars 13 and 14. So uh, this I have already read in trade back form because this omnibus was actually out of print for a long time and that has always been my rule is I've never overpaid I maybe have only even paid cover price for one of these maybe one or two omnibus ever so um, I have already read this one I'm not gonna lie I did get the previous Darth Vader omnibus that came out like a month or two ago uh, maybe longer than that and anyways I thought that's what this was but I was wrong that is the oh no what is his name now I'm gonna go blank Charles Sewell that's the Charles Sewell run and I didn't know that at the time so anyways that's still a good run too but I was like damn I thought that was this one getting reprinted but here we have it uh, the cover is different than the original one that came out this is the Mark Brooks variant uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take the slip case off and see what we have inside. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I see some pretty cool artwork here. So this is a scene from uh, one of the early, maybe even the first issue, I'm pretty sure. Um, of Darth Vader rolling up into Jabba the Hutt's place. And uh, so this is definitely some pretty neat artwork there. I do like that. If you have not read this run, it is, if you love Vader, if you like Vader, and you just want to see Darth Vader at his best with like some of the most badass moments, this is what you got to get. So. And the artwork in here is also really good. So, uh, you do have Dr. Afra. Uh, I do believe I mentioned that already. But, I should be able to find... Yeah, see right here. Uh, so, he kills a couple of guards. And they're telling Jabba the Hutt to wake up. Wake up, he's here. Uh, he says, you arrive a day early kill two of my guards and expect me to deal with you and then Vader says I have only killed two do not make me reconsider my generosity badass this mofo is badass and he is basically badass throughout the entire series you have uh, it's got everything you've got the the space flight uh, moments you've got pretty much you know him talking with everyone 
uh, different characters that you've seen throughout the series. Him fighting monsters. I am going to skip ahead. This is probably one of the most famous parts. It is from the Vader Down, which was a what is it, one shot, which is called a one shot. And uh, it was basically the rebels end up getting tracking him down at a they take his ship down and they bring him to a planet and they basically he's wandering around he's wandering around and they the rebels kind of track him down tell him lay down your weapons you're surrounded and what follows let me go ahead and make sure I get this so what follows is pretty much one of the most epic uh, art pieces and just badass Darth Vader moments. So they're telling him, lay down your weapons, you are surrounded. And then you have this shot of all these men surrounding him. And then you have Vader. And he says the line, all I am surrounded by is fear and dead men. And then he proceeds to just fuck them up. So, th I mean, this is sick. This, I'm telling you. Now, I know I kind of spoiled one of the best moments, but if you want to see Darth Vader at one of his finest, this is the one. So, uh, do cop that if you are a Star Wars fan and do not have it already. Uh, let me see if I can go ahead and just... Put this off to the side so we can move on to what's next. I got some beauties right here. Uh, now, technically, this is the new pickup. So, this beast that you are looking at is the Jack Kirby. Uh, they call these the Fourth World Absolutes. Um, or Absolute Fourth World, technically. But there's the spine, big old Kirby. Now, if you're familiar with Omnibus, an Omnibus is basically a series, you know, you have a comic book in a single issue format, then it turns into a trade. Then that trade, if popular enough, can become an Omnibus, collected as one full run. Sometimes it's, it takes up a couple different Omnibus books, but a lot of times it can just be one and so you'll have it turn into an omnibus. So if you think about it, it's kind of like a single issue or a trade on steroids, right? An absolute is an omnibus on steroids. That's how I'm going to describe it. Maybe others have described it that way before, but you're pretty much looking. So let me, now they pretty much all of them come in slip cases that I'm aware of big old giant things uh, so I didn't want to show off the contrast I brought this one out just to show the contrast of volume 2 is red volume 1 is blue uh, so you got this and this is an omnibus hopefully I'm getting I can't even see so I'm just gonna have to hope that both of these are in the shot yeah, okay there we go. I think you get the idea. Absolute is much, much larger scale, larger format. So this is going to collect. Uh, the first series is what you want if you want the early, early um, new gods, first appearance of Dark Side, first appearance of Orion, all those. Uh, the new gods title, Superman, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen, that kind of stuff. Now. This has it too, it's just the later issues. Um, so this has got Jimmy Olsen 146 through 148, Forever People 7 through 11, New God 7 through 11, Mr. Miracle 7 through 18, the Jack Kirby's New God's reprint series number six, DC graphic novel number four, The Hunger Dogs, and Jack Kirby's Lost Tale on the Road to Armageddon, published in full size and color for the first time ever. Um, so that's pretty cool, actually. So, uh, 
yeah, this thing is a beast. Like I said, this is more for if you're a completionist. Uh, that one's if you more, like I said, want to read like the early beginning of Dark Side. I mean, this is still early Dark Side. You get the point. The first appearances are in the other one, okay? Anyways, so let me try to open this up without it breaking and give you a nice little panel here. Um, I would like to include Dark Side. Well, okay, so like here's a cover. You can see forever people. Come on. Mm. Yeah. Forever people. Whoops. If my hands went in the way. So, super large format. Um, so, Mr. Miracle action right there. I just want to show off Dark Side real quick. Because you know that's my boy. Uh, got some Mr. Miracle action. And I'll show you guys while I flip through and try and find it. Oh, there's Superman. Got some Superman action. So yeah, I mean these panels are like the palm of my hand. homie dark side at but yeah these are I mean obviously it doesn't beat reading the old school but it is still there we go so we got a little bit of dark side there and then I'll show this one off a little bit of dark side using off his make a blast so yeah I mean this is Jack Kirby classic and uh, just kind of in a more colorful uh, clearer version so some people don't like these you know they want to read the old school style and format you know these are not for everybody but this is just a really cool way to get a hold of all of that stuff so that is going to do it for me I'm gonna go ahead and try and put this thing back but, yeah, so Jack Kirby's Fourth World. I mean, come on, dude. That man is the shit. Uh, so, yeah, so now I have Volumes 1 and 2. I don't believe that there will be a third. I don't, I think that's pretty much where it ended. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But, yeah, so, some in-stock trades hauls um, and some omnibus stuff. And some absolutes, man. And some show off of some comics. So that's all I got for this one. Uh, hopefully I will have a CGC unboxing. I know if you're thinking, ah, oh, that's how that last video ended. Oh, that's how last week's low grades ended. Oh, that's how last last week's low grades ended. Yeah, that's because USPS is still slacking on sending my freaking order. So, I'm trying to woosaw, stay patient. Uh, it is very, very close to me. So, I'm hoping tomorrow, if not another day tops. But, I'm very excited for that. And that will be a banger of a video. Um, but, I definitely thank you all for tuning in and checking this one out. Um, if I purchase any more omnibus or anything like that I will definitely do one of these in the future I just don't have any plans to I kind of just randomly pick one up if I absolutely have to and I don't even keep up on the new releases anymore if you think that there's a really really good one that I should check out feel free to let me know in the comments below and that's all I got man stay safe comic raider clocking out deuces